The First Amendment of the Constitution begins, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Does the fact that the Bill of Rights begins with these two religion clauses have any special significance? Many Americans believe that it does, that it reflects a special emphasis that the framers of the Bill of Rights placed on religion in our society. Indeed, influential Americans of the late 18th century, most notably Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, were thoroughly committed to the principle of religious freedom. The history of Europe had taught them the importance of keeping the affairs of government and the affairs of church separate. However, we should not infer that the right of free worship ranked higher in the minds of the framers than the other fundamental freedoms embraced in the Bill of Rights solely from the fact that the religion clauses appear first in the First Amendment. If we believe that the things that are listed first are the most important or most significant, what do we make of the fact that the set of articles that were drafted by James Madison and proposed by the First Congress and submitted to the states for ratification in 1789 contain two articles that preceded what we know today as the First Amendment? The language of the First Amendment was actually the third article submitted to the states in 1789. Madison's draft of twelve articles began with this language. After the enumeration required by the first article of the Constitution, there shall be one representative for every 30,000 until the number shall amount to 100, after which the proportion shall so be regulated by Congress that there shall not be less than 100 representatives nor less than one representative for every 40,000 persons until the number of representatives shall amount to 200, after which the proportion shall so be regulated by Congress that there shall not be less than 200 representatives nor more than one representative for every 50,000 persons. Here, Madison is anticipating increases in the population of the United States and the necessity of increasing the number of representatives in the United States House as well as adjusting the number of citizens each member of the House is to represent.